Uh, welcome to the very, very first live science lesson ever done on Facebook. Yeah? Sometimes that gets a woo. <laughs> well, actually, it's never got a woo because it's never happened no, before. That's very true. Um, can I just say before we start, thank you so much for letting us into your science class. There are science classes around the world, I know, watching this. People in New York, let's hear it if you're in New York. <laughs> oh, don't you? <laughs> let's hear it if you're in Johannesburg. That's the sound of one hand clapping. <laughs> uh, let's hear if you're in Hackney. St. Matthias School in Hackney is, uh, I believe, oh, they're only just around the, around the corner. How do you know that? I know that because my wife's one of the teachers there. Oh. I'll be <laughs> home in, in a couple of hours. Um, also, we should point out, we are, at the, we are at the Albert Hall, which is the most famous venue in all of London, probably the most famous venue in the entire world. Uh, not only is it a brilliant venue, but it's also a fantastic charity that gets people involved in both the arts in the red corner, and the sciences in the blue corner. And today, what we thought we'd do is bring the arts and the sciences a little bit closer together and discuss a subject which the Royal Albert Hall is most famous for, which is sound and music. Yep, we thought sound. We'd, sorry, we thought yep. we'd deconstruct sound and music, uh, explain a little bit more about what's going on, take it apart a bit, have a bit of a fiddle, and put it all back together. Well, we think yeah. it's the reason that you can make, capture that sound, take it out of the speaker, is it sounds actually quite a simple thing. It's all to do with <coughs> disturbing the air and the regularity with which you do that, really. And you can't fa clap faster than five or maybe ten beats a second. So instead, I've recorded one of my claps here, um, and let's see what happens when we play that slow at, st at start, and then faster, faster. It's a musical note. It's a musical, it's not the nicest <laughs> musical note I've ever heard, but a musical note nonetheless. So basically you've got that rhythm, as it gets faster, that kind of really what defines a note. And I, remember, I was amazed when I first heard that that's all a musical note is, is the air being disturbed very regularly, but very, very, very fast. And you've probably seen that at home, for example, with a washing machine or electric drill or electric toothbrush. Yeah. The things that hit the air really fast, they make that sort of whiny noise. Right. And the, the thing is that you can do that with pretty much anything. That's yeah. exactly how a musical instrument works. So, for example, if we take the, a double bass like that, um, if Adam there plucks one of the strings, you'll see that it's vibrating. Go on, go, go for it. There we go, look at that. Like that. It's just hitting the air really regularly, repeatedly. That's what makes the noise. But here's the amazing thing. You've got all these people around the world, New York, all these yeah. great places, listening to us yeah. blathering on. And they're probably watching it on a computer or a yeah. television. So it's not actually the air within the Albert Hall that is vibrating that they're hearing. They're hearing it through a speaker. Yeah. Yeah. And that I find amazing. Yeah. Well, we've got a speaker here. Yeah, let's have a little look. Like, and we, you, can, you can show people how it works. Yeah, okay, so your speaker at home on your computer is basically this. I'm sure you've all seen speakers before. Um, the thing that actually makes the noise, the thing that disturbs the air, exactly the same thing as clapping or a musical instrument, is this paper cone here. This paper cone, when you play your music through it, makes the cone vibrate, which in turn vibrates the air, which in turn you hear. If I put some salt on, Yeah, I? that's a good idea. Put a bit of salt on, there we go. Salt on. And I'll change, I'll increase the volume. You can see them jumping around. There Wee, you go. Look at that. You probably um, might have done this be before. This is corn flour and water, or cornstarch and water if you're an American. Basically what it is, it makes what's known as a non-Newtonian fluid. So it's feel, if I just give it a bit of a, a prod, it's a liquid, but if you apply pressure to it, it turns into a solid. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my flour, whoa, now watch. Oh, wow, look at that. This is gonna be an opportunity for you to actually see sound. There we go, you can start to see it dancing around. There we go, look, you can see this one down here. Oh, there you go, you're allowed to clap, there we go. There we go. This is how to make your very own sound sculptures, ladies and gentlemen. So there you go, there we are. Inside this box I have some speakers, um, and I just need to play the right note through the speakers, and hopefully this glass will start resonating. Okay. So that note is being played from this speaker in this box. There is a piece of glass on the top. And if we get a nice close up, you should be able to see it when we get it vibrating. I can hear it. I'm going to put a bit of salt on just so it makes it a little bit clearer that it is actually moving and vibrating. Can you see, can you see that? Is that clear? Now look oh, at the I end. Oh my God, look at the end of it. Wow. Whee! <laughs> Whoa. Go wild and crazy <laughs> in your classrooms <laughs> all around the world. 